So I think we all can agree that sound can be one of the most difficult, challenging, and ultimately rewarding things when it comes to filmmaking. And today I'm gonna talk to you about how I capture sound in this boomy studio, turning sound that sounds like this. Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo, into sound that sounds like this. Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo. Let's hop into Premiere Pro and see how it's done. What is up everybody? My name is Steven and today we're talking all things sound and predominantly the built-in effects in Premiere Pro. Now these include multiband compressor, they include parametric equalizer, uh, denoise, but my favorite, de-reverb, especially when it comes to making your sound sound full and also complete when you're shooting in an echoey studio. So let's hop into Premiere Pro and see how it's done. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro CC 2022. I have a little clip here of me speaking in the photo studio section of our place here. And I'm just gonna play this so you can hear the raw audio that I captured while I was doing this uh, speaking clip here. So let's have a listen. Checking one, two, three. I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo. So off the bat, this is not too bad to work with. I mean, we do have a microphone placed above my head, which definitely is a key to when you're doing any kind of vlogging, interview, taping, all that sort of thing to capture the, I guess the room non-lav style setup to recording audio. How can we make it sound better? Let's hop into effects. So in effects, there are four main effects that I always use when it comes to doing any sort of audio and audio enhancement. And these are D-Reverb, which right here you see under the noise reduction restoration. There's also D-Noise, which is also under the uh, noise reduction and restoration folder. There is the multi-band compressor under the amplitude and compression. This is a really, really cool effect that I'll show you guys how to use, as well as the parametric equalizer under filter and EQ. So those four particular effects are really all you need when it comes to doing any kind of audio in Premiere Pro. So right off the bat, let's start with number one, which I always do, which is basically D-Reverb. So that removes the echo in the room. So all you gotta do here is enter D-Reverb into effects. You find the effect here, you drag it, onto your audio part of your clip right down here. And let's have a sound, or have a listen to part of me, how that sounds now that we have D-Reverb onto our audio. Checking one, two, three. I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo. So you can definitely tell that makes a big impression on that sound. And this is something that you should always use. But if you notice here on the uh, effect controls area, if you click on D-Reverb, you can actually edit the settings of what that D-Reverb does. So by clicking edit, you bring up this little window here that plays and monitors the audio and shows you the wavelengths at which you're recording it at. Checking one, two, three. I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo. So definitely this brings up on, on the first pass at 40%. So that's the default setting when it comes to working with D-Reverb. But you can also concentrate on different processing focus points. So when you do the default setting, it does all frequencies, but there's also, you can focus on lower frequencies, you can focus on mid frequencies, lower and higher frequencies, and just the higher frequencies themselves. So this is important depending upon what environment you're shooting in. If you're shooting in a big boomy space that tends to show off more of the high pitch part of the sound or the low pitch, you can focus on that when you're doing your editing of re removing that echo in the sound. On top of that, you can also adjust the amount at which that D-reverb is cleaning up the echo in your sound. It starts at 40%, but I like to usually put it a little bit lower because I find sometimes that when you do too much D-reverb, it can make the sound a bit muddled. So let's see what it here, uh, sounds like, pardon me, at 34%. Checking one, two, three. I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo. So that's pretty good. I think that sound has a nice even level to it. We don't need to play too much with the different frequencies at this point, but I do like using that all frequencies here in the studio because it's a bit of a controlled environment. So we've got here our D-reverb. It's sounding pretty good. So let's further clean it up. So back here on effects, let's hop up to denoise. So denoise gets rid of any kind of sound that's in the background that's distracting away from the main audio being taken by the microphone. So let's just drag that and pop that onto our sound as well. And as you can see here on the effects control to the left, it also brings up that denoise. So let's hop into here as well and take a look at the edit functions because you can also adjust the different levels within the denoise setting. 
Denoise is a very particular tool and I always recommend starting it lower because it has a bit of an effect where it kind of muffles everything within the sound to try to eliminate the, the distracting noise that you don't want in your audio. So by taking it down here to about 10 to 9%, that might help clean up without giving too much of a fishbowl sound. So let's have a listen. Checking one, two, three. I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So that's pretty good. So now we have the uh, echo removed. We've got the noise from any kind of like rattling pipes that we have in the studio or any kind of like passing sounds that we don't want. And it makes it a very clean sound. On top of that, let's bump up my presence of my audio by going here and opening up the multi-band compression tool. So this little uh, effect here is very important when it comes to taking audio and cleaning it up in post because it can enhance the quality of your sound. So going here also on this effects control, if I click edit, it brings up a new board. So this board here shows us the different levels of sound across the different channels. It also has built-in presets. So a quick tip, I love doing this, it's easy and quick, is going to broadcast. And broadcast raises the levels kind of across the board for your sound. So it, it bumps up a bit of the bass, it bumps up a bit of the treble, and gives a nice even mix to your sound to make your sound present. So if you click on broadcast, it will off the bat really raise up the quality of the audio and we have to adjust this. Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So right there you can tell it's maybe a bit too loud. So we're gonna bring down the audio gain a bit and we're gonna also adjust the different levels of this sound area by going right here too. So on this uh, middle gain section here, I like to turn on the, uh, the bass feature a bit so it brings a bit of the sound out. Now let's have a listen to it now. Checking one, two, three. I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So that's pretty good. And with on top of this area, we have this now brought up with the broadcast. We have the audio gain turned down a little tiny bit and we have that bass enhanced. We now have pretty good overall sound. But if you wanna go one step further, there's one more thing you can do. The last one being parametric equalizer. Now, parametric equalizer allows you to pinpoint different parts of the audio specifically. So that could be the treble, that could be the mid-tones, that could be the bass, that could be the highs, the lows. It's a very versatile tool. So let's click on edit here and let's take a look at this. So this brings up a different waveform option that we can adjust the different levels of low to high frequencies and basically the frequencies in between that are numbered out between one and five or one and S, pardon me. So going over here, we can now take a listen to the sound and see what it sounds like, and we can manipulate it further within the parametric equalizer. Checking one, two, three. I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So off the bat, you can tell that right in the middle here, we have most of the audio frequencies being pushed to the middle area. So maybe we could raise the, uh, I think the high frequencies a bit and maybe lower the lower frequencies. But before we do this, let's just set an in and out point within our sequence so we can put this audio on repeat so we can listen to it essentially without having to click play and stop all the time. To do that, super simple, bring your cursor back to the front, you're gonna hit I, you're gonna bring your cursor to the end of the audio you wanna sample, you're gonna press O on your keyboard, so that points the in and out point of that clip. And then now we're just gonna click this little button here on loop playback, which if you don't have this on your uh, your little tools here beneath your playback, just hit the plus section and you can edit buttons to bring them on to the main part of your video editor. So by clicking loop playback, checking one, two, three, I'm talking. So essentially that doesn't have to allow me to click stop and play all the time. Very simple, but very effective. Anyways, back into here, if I go to the beginning and I press play, I can now adjust on the fly within parametric equalizer to manipulate the sound how I think is gonna sound. Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So how does this sound? Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So how does this sound? Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So how does this sound? Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space. It's got a bit of echo. So how does this sound? So now I've, as you can see here, while it was playing, I was adjusting on the fly to kind of get the audio that I want. Now, audio is particular and everyone's got different tastes, so you don't have to do any specific set. But that being said, by doing this manual adjustment, I get the audio the way I want it. So 
As you can see here on the effects controls, we have D-Reverb, we've got D-Noise, multi-band compressor, and we also have the parametric equalizer. So we have a lot of different effects playing on this audio. If we were to turn them all off so we can see what it sounds like before and after, this is what it sounds like. Be checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo. So how does this sound? And now let's listen to it on how it sounds with all of the effects turned on. Checking one, two, three, I'm talking in a studio space that's got a bit of echo. So how does this sound? That's not bad. So basically we've taken four different effect audio control settings and put them on top of our audio we took in a space that's a bit echoey and has a bit of noise. And we really cleaned it up to make a very nice overall sound. So check out D-Reverb, D-Noise, Multiband Compressor and Parametric Equalizer the next time you're gonna edit your audio. So there you go. Don't let sound get you down. You can do all sorts of things in Premiere Pro to make your sound sound full and rich using parametric equalizer and D-Reverb and D-Noise and multiband compressor, say that 10 times fast. And these tips and tricks and tools and plugins and presets basically allow you to create that full rich sound environment that you hear. Because we all know sound is one of the most fundamentally important parts of film. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button below and stay tuned for all sorts of videos I have coming up on tips and tricks and gear reviews and giveaways on the channel. Until next time, hop into your editing suite because there's always an answer to every problem that you got. Ciao.